Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel or hello if you're new. If so, my name is Amy and I do tons of hair care videos on this channel. Today though, I'm focusing on my product empties from the last couple of months. So I was doing these videos every month and then I realised I just wasn't getting enough empties to talk about. So I've decided to basically do it when I fill this box. So this is just a box from just my look that came through and... Yeah, I basically filled this up full of products, so I thought now I will just talk you through what I finished off, what I thought about it, whether I've repurchased it, all stuff like that, instead of doing it every month where I have like, literally, I would have like two things to talk about, and I just felt like it just didn't qualify a video, so I've saved them up for a little bit longer, still not tons and tons, but you know, enough products, I'm just not someone that really finishes products in the same way anymore i think it's because i'm like chipping and changing all of my different products and i like to try new things but yeah we do have a couple of empties so i want to dive straight into the video today if you haven't be sure to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy empties videos and let's dive straight into it So let's start off, this was a relatively new addition, so this was a Christmas candle, I started burning them in September, don't hate me, I think this one is actually one I finished off in September, I just love the smell of this, it was actually like a, it's quite a fresh, kind of berry smelling candle, I think the description of this is winter berries, so it's exactly as it says, I'm sure this was either from Asda or from Primark, one of the two, and it was the first Christmas candle I got out this year, I currently have another one burning, or is it a bit more acceptable when it's November compared to September, so I did like a little subtle Christmas one, and this was the first one that I burnt. Christmas candles are something that I do like to burn all year round. So if I'm particularly down, even if it's like February or March or April, I'll be partial to burning a Christmas candle just to elevate my mood. They make me so happy. They're like cinnamon, sickly cinnamon smells are my favourite. Oh my god, I love them. So that one was like the first one and I'm burning loads now. The other product, I guess that the other candle was just this one. I'm sure this was actually from Ikea. Again, it didn't really smell of anything. It just looked pretty Christmassy with the fact it was red and had some kind of glitter in there. Festive enough to kind of start the decor of that. The next thing is a foundation. So I haven't finished a foundation in ages and I finally finished this one off. So this is the Armani Luminous Silk one. I got this last year and my sister-in-law gave me this because she bought it and didn't like it. She found it had no coverage. It was too sheer and she just wasn't a fan. I initially thought that. So initially I put it on and I was like, this has very little coverage. But you can build it up to somewhat of a medium coverage. And it was so beautiful on the skin. I do actually wish that I had this to wear on my wedding. Because this was such a gorgeous finish. But you could matte it down. Or you could pair it with a more of a dewy primer. And that really kind of influenced the finish of this. So typically I would wear it more on the matte side. Just because I'm relatively oily. And I need something to last throughout the day. But I really liked this. To the point I would probably buy it again. It's quite pricey and... I think when you get to a certain price point, you expect a certain level of coverage, but this isn't a coverage foundation. It's just a gorgeous, healthy looking foundation. And obviously it's very different to my Estee Lauder Double Wear, so it's not the same. I'm not expecting the same results. But what I got was such a gorgeous glow. I love this and it's definitely elevated my love for more dewy products. I'm typically someone that just stays matte all the time and products like this just really kind of influence me to try more dewy products and just get a bit more kind of glow to my routine i had my makeup done for my friend's wedding back in august and the makeup artist used loads of like cream based glowy products and i felt like my skin looked so amazing then so i've tried to replicate that as i've kind of continued realizing i don't need matte everything and so yeah i actually really enjoyed this take that as you will some people love it some people hate it and I think it just depends on your expectation of the product but I just thought it was beautiful honestly and I'm really sad it's over because it is pricey to buy but it's probably one that I would buy again so next up is just a lush wrapper but within here was the comforter bubble bar if you know me or you've ever watched any of my Lush videos ever, so I used to do loads of like Lush hauls on this channel to the point that I was spending so much money. And I decided to basically just calm that down a little bit. I didn't need that many bath products and yeah, I'm just trying to finish what I've got. So I had a comforter bubble bar in here. 
loved it so much it's just one of my favorite scents from lush i have the perfume i have the bubble bars the bath bombs which i've heard they've recently discontinued the body spray all sorts i love the comforter smell so any way i can get it i get it and i really enjoy kind of baths and stuff like baths are my self-care time and the time i truly relax especially if i've had like a mental day so i really enjoyed that talking of baths this is a another product so if you've ever watched any of my empties, you'll be very familiar with a shop brand bubble bath. Typically it's Lidl's, but this time I ventured out to Asda. This is their sleep and relax bath, so very similar to Redox in terms of that lavender scent. It just made me so refreshed, and I love the smell of this before I go to bed. So if I have like an evening bath, wash the day away, lavender smell, gorgeous. So yeah, really enjoyed this. Oh, so gorgeous. I actually think I only use the one though, which is very unlike me. Um, I just keep forgetting to pick up bubble, like, soak and bubble bath whenever I go shopping. So I need to buy, like, loads next time I go, just so I don't forget. We've got another kind of boring -y candle, which is the Shaw Invisible Deodorant. Always go for an invisible deodorant. I typically wear black all the time. And so something like this, which is anti-marks, just doesn't leave any marks on my clothes and... Sure ones I normally buy when they're on offer. I typically buy them from Tesco's to be honest. And yeah, one of those I used a lot. I think I used another deodorant, but it's not in here. We've got another candle. So this is my all-time favorite Yankee candle scent, vanilla lime. Oh my god, I love it so so much. I bought this when we first moved into our house. So that was back in June, and this lasted quite a while. So I had been burning this and it just makes my home smell so good. I do have to say though, I feel like either Yankee Candles don't smell as strong as they used to or other brands have really picked up the game. I'm not sure which one it is, but I have been using wax melts from an Instagram brand called The Scent Kitchen and I found that their wax melts are so much stronger than Yankee Candles. Really strange because they're like an indie brand but really good. So even though I haven't bought another one of these because they are my favorite, I do have Yankee Candle like wax melts to use because I love the smell so much, but I've just been a bit underwhelmed. Like I bought this because I like, new house, get my favorite candle in, lit it. And I was just like, this isn't as good as I remember. So I'm not sure whether I'm the only one that thinks that. I wonder if, I don't know. I, I just think that other candle brands are really stepping up their game. But this is one that I finished off and I mean, I do buy candles all the time, so it's definitely not a case of whether I would repurchase it. I just felt a little bit, like, underwhelmed. I just thought that they used to be better, but yeah, there's that one. So a couple of hair products I've finished off this month. You would have seen my video on the Sugar Bear Hair Hair Vitamins. I tried these for 30 days and gave my final verdict in that video, so I'll have that linked above and down below. If you want to check that out and see what I thought, I don't want to spoil it too much for anyone that hasn't seen the video. But yeah, I finished these off, Hair Vitamins see that video and see what you think next up i have another hair product that i did a video on so these were the olaplex shampoo and conditioner these are obviously empty i absolutely love these olaplex products for me are just products i adore like i genuinely adore them so much i cannot speak highly enough of them every product i've tried i've really enjoyed and i've just become one of those people that just love good hair care obviously that's kind of how my channel has evolved but even personally, like even without YouTube or if I did none of these videos, I still think I would buy Olaplex shampoo and conditioner because it made my hair so incredibly soft. It helped it grow. I feel like it's been in the best condition since I used this. So I haven't yet repurchased these, but I'll be honest, I am just waiting for Black Friday to come around because these always go in a really good discount and I buy this and other products I might need then. Because I'm that close to it at this point, I'm just like, I may as well wait and get a good deal. So I will be repurchasing these no doubt and yeah i really really enjoyed them i have tons of other shampoo and conditioners to try on the channel there's i've had loads of requests on shampoo and conditioner so if there's any specific you'd like me to try let me know down below because i do have a list of different ones i want to try obviously i want to make sure the ones i want to try and you want to try are like obviously the same so yeah really enjoyed these i will just buy these again because i just i think they'll be my fail safe i know i get good results with them and they lasted ages these two little bottles lasted me nine months how mad is that and obviously i have quite long hair so it's a testament on when you buy a better quality they last a lot longer but yeah i did a whole video like dedicated to them but i just wanted to mention the fact that i love them so much and i've got two more products here like i said this is an accumulation of months worth of products and it's still not tons but I didn't want to do like two products a month. I just felt like it was just, I didn't have anything to talk about. 
So the next product is an organic argan oil. So again, I did a video where I tried argan oil overnight and I've continued to use this on my hair since that video and I think that was a good few months ago now and I really enjoy this you can use argan oil on your body on your hair I just love the way it makes my hair feel it's one of those products that's a fail safe if I know I want super soft hair or I want my hair to have just like the most nourishing treatment overnight something like argan oil or coconut oil overnight just gives your hair so much hydration without having to use like a dedicated hair mask or spend loads of money it's a really affordable way to get good hair care so yeah I really enjoyed that using this to the point I've used this one up and you can imagine how many oils I have in my collection it's quite overwhelming sometimes deciding personally which one I'm going to use when I'm not doing a review video so for me to actually finish one off is a testament to how much I loved it and the final thing in this box is a little perfume so this is the Thierry Thierry Muggler how bad is that I don't know how to pronounce it the Angel Muse spray I really enjoyed this. I'm not sure if there's even like a little drop left. Oh my god, I really like that. So it's kind of like a mix of masculine and feminine fragrance. It's just so unique and this was a little sample that I got. I can't remember where from but I just love like little ones like this where I can throw in my handbag, put in my pocket. So wherever I'm going for the day I have a little fragrance with me that I can top up without it being like a bulky bottle that mainly I might smash because I'm pretty clumsy honestly. This is a glass bottle but you know it's pretty durable and i just thought that this was a great way to sample fragrances i used to do that monthly subscription called perfumado where you could try different high-end fragrances every month and i love that for discovery but now i have tons of perfumes in my collection that i haven't finished so that's my next thing to finish those off i really did enjoy that little one but yeah that's all of the products i finished off recently it's not been too much but it's nice to finally get them out and i'm sorry for anyone that really did enjoy my monthly empty videos i just found that i just didn't have enough to talk about honestly so i hope you don't mind me doing them more of an ad hoc basis where i basically fill the box up and then have enough products to talk about i feel like that's enough so this video isn't too long but it's not too short and yeah i thought this would be a better format so i hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you have and let me know down below what products you finished off recently i love hearing like people's final impressions of products because i do tons of first impressions here but to conclude on a product once you've finished it just gives you that overall sense of like what you thought would you buy it again it says so much more about you and the product and the relationship you had so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll speak to you guys really soon bye